Hello everyone, welcome to the Nordic Arte Support with me, Runos, bringing you yet another video, and today I bring you Civilization 5, and boy, I know, I know, uh, I promise that next next week I will give you a Supreme Commander uh, video, but today I have another video that is not Supreme Commander because I want something different, so, yes indeed. So, and today I have with me Logan Felkson, so say hello. Hello. And today we're going to try to play a little bit of um, Civilization 5 and hopefully there won't be too many uh, complications. And you just still struggle picking your leader. Yeah, I don't remember which I like the most, so I'll just take Japan because you take Japan, okay, fair enough. They look very cool, okay. Now let's see though, we should start the game. Oh, this should be interesting. Alrighty, hold on. Uh, we got all of these continent stuff. We got a prince difficulty. I prefer. Uh, sometimes I prefer to have a little bit more easier, but at the same time, let's let's create a challenge for the, you guys that watch this. Oh God, the frame rate went down to three. Hopefully that won't be too much. <laughs> uh, the loading screen, so yes. They won't okay, watch. that's zero frame rate on the loading screen. Well, it, it it makes sense. I mean, it's just a picture. You wouldn't expect there to be much. Movement. Ah, now it went up to 30. Okay, ooh, I'm starting right next to marble. That's good. Oh, hi. Mm, nice. Hold oh, oh, the mama. Sorry, that was just my mother saying, uh, I said goodbye to my mother. Yeah. Mm, I'm just gonna settle my city immediately because I am right next to a river, a hill, and marble, so I'm gonna actually be able to. I've got silver, uh, wheat, and a lot of sugar. Oh, there was some wheat over there as well. Oh, should I go on ivory? Um, oh, should I just settle immediately and start researching? I should do that because I figured if I get uh, the technology of pottery and then immediately go for writing, I can get a great library which gives you a free technology. Hmm. Uh, and Strategy then go for so. animal husbandry, mining, and if I can find some um, hidden, like uh, ancient, this like these places, or what do you call it? Oh, what uh, is the word again? Th those those uh, ruins that can give you like technology. Ooh. Fantastic okay, map. so I'm gonna choose research. I'm gonna choose some pottery, and then I can also get some shrines, so I can get some faith, and then I can uh, start creating a pantheon. Okay. So, oh yeah. So what are you doing? I'm doing the same, more okay. or less. So I'm just gonna go for next turn because I'm done with the stuff I need to do. <clears throat> wow, an unmet player already, already has 14 points, so they probably found some good stuff. Wow. Yeah. Um, now just we gotta see though, waiting for the other players. There we go, my turn has begun. Uh, I found a lot of wheat though, so that's good, and I got some desert, I got hills, I got forest and plains, so I'm more... I think I'm in a desert jungle area, as... Hmm. Evident from the jungles up in the north and forest and plains in the south, <coughs> and some mountains. I, have, like, I can see. Plains see. and, oh, and fantastic. Hmm? I have plains like right north from me, and uh, it's. I, I think it's uh, forest. Nice. Yeah, I, I think I can actually settle a settlement right next to the mountain because then early, later in the game, when I get the ability to get uh, observatory. I can yeah. what, get extra research because I just figured out after playing this a little bit that research and production is alpha omega. I mean, nothing mm. else really truly matters, which surprised me in the early stages because, I mean, sure, it's, it's, it's fun when you suddenly see that, ah, oh, shit, the other guys built the wonder that I wanted to build. Uh, but then if you manage to even get on, out on top, even though they have better technology than you, I suppose that's very fun with the challenge. But I also like just playing it just to relax and think, yes! I, I like uh, doing the culture victories, because um, everyone is uh, like wearing your pants. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, pants and listening to your pop music. I guess I, yeah. I love the uh, technological uh, victory where you sent out the space uh, craft. Yeah, that's cool as well. So let's see though. Oh, schnauzen, 
An unmade player has 18 points already. What the hell? They, they got, I mean, I'm sorry, but uh, either the computer just makes uh, the other players very lucky or they have to cheat. I, I, I just have very hard time believing. And it's got to be like Alexander or something uh, from Macedonia. Let's see the barbarian encampments discovered. Okay, that's good. Uh, the runes discovered by ban encampments, so I just stay. I'll just stay clear of those. Uh, yeah. Okay, hills, plains, and forests. So I got a little bit of production here, though. Four production, one from terrain, three from buildings. Hmm, fair enough. Um, uh, next turn. <coughs> there we go. That's what I like about Civilization Five is that the turn doesn't proceed until everyone has made a move. So I, I was surprised when I figured out that you could play a game like this with other players. Uh, and I would love to have seen like a Rome Total War game or a Total War game being played like a Civilization kind of game. Hmm. Uh, I, I mean, actually I know, tried Rome Total War yet. Yeah, I mean, I know it would have been difficult in the sense that, you know, you have uh, land battles you can actually make, like go down on the battle map and that would take time. Uh, but yeah. at the same time, against, for example, if against another guy, uh, wasn't it Shogun 2 Total War you could do that? I think so. Yeah. So, let's see. Ooh, I found cattle. <coughs> I found a lot of spices, uh, ivory bananas, a lot of bananas. Oh darn, those bananas. Banana he, banana ho, banana ha, banana ha ha. That's an iteration I haven't heard. <laughs> Whoa, you suddenly just, what the hell, have you finished building a monument or something? I finished everything. Jeez, I'm just the so far, time. what? Every time uh, I play uh, online with someone, I have incredible bad luck, but when I play alone, I suddenly find myself just, yeah, right next to gold, silver, like, oh, we, all the shit. This is actually my second time I've played this uh, online, or third. I think, and uh, I got a pretty decent starting point. Yeah, I mean, a I, lot I... of sugar, some mountains, and uh, silver and wheat. Wow, nearby. Uh... And right north from me is like cows and more hmm. wheat and a uh, an oasis actually. Yeah, I mean, I, I got ivory and, uh, nearby. Wheat. I, I've got fish. You got well. fish? Oh, so you need you need water. I'm in just in big plains. So I'm probably inland. Ah, uh, well, uh, my uh, uh, culture uh, development thingy uh, is trying to buy the wrong tile, so, meh. Huh. Or uh. trying to expand into the wrong tile. I want the silver, man. I want the spices. Ah, uh, sorry, I... Bring me the cinnamon. Did you know that there, yes, are, there are people that actually do not like cinnamon? I can understand why. But but cinnamon is so delightful. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is delicious. There we go. Ooh, more runes. Please tell me that is technology. <laughs> I need technology. I mean, if I don't get... Stay ahead of me. I'm gonna be like the player to just please, sir, show me some mercy. Don't kill me. It's like, mm -hmm, I could make you my little slave state. Mm -hmm. Now show me that oh, yeah. ass. Okay, this went just way beyond what should technically be done. Nah. Okay. Uh. Oh right, I found a crudely map drawn, and I found more ruins and barbarian. There's like three barbarian encampments around me. Bad gods. You're unlucky, man. Yeah, but I found a lot of ruins, though, so if you can take down that barbarian ah. encampment. Ooh, wine! And bison, mar more marble, deer, a lot of forest and rivers. So, I mean, all in all, I gotta say it's a very good starting point in general. So I'm just gonna mm. press next turn because I can't really do much besides moving my vo warriors. Yeah. That's all you do for the first couple of... Yeah. What, what I like about the Egyptians, though, is that they get 20% production, f faster production when building wonders. So that could actually... That's awesome. Thebes have grown. Yes, my city is a little bit bigger, though. Uh, two populations, so that might help. You're yeah. 
Jesus, you're already on 16 points. <laughs> <coughs> the early points doesn't matter that much. No, I, was, I know, I know. It's just that you, you have the score, you just... I want it as well. So, mommy, mommy, please, I want points. No, you gotta wait for your turn, but I want to. I've been, I've been, I've actually been working in uh, kindergarten as a substitute and in school recently, and I gotta say, I, ah. I love it. Um, first of all, in the school, it is a fantastic exper working experience, and in in the kindergarten, uh, I mean, I get paid to just Ooh, really? be there and relax and have fun with the kids, like drawing and running around and playing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, sure, there can be like, uh, like. Just, you, you can be tired during a day and stuff like that, but at the same time, uh, the, the the fact that they after a while trust you, they talk to you, they they want to show you yeah. things. For me, it is so rewarding to see that after like the first few days they started to trust me, and now they just give me hugs when they see me, and it, it, yeah. I, I just don't understand how anyone can actually do like hurtful things to children. Uh, I, I've seen, I like, I've, I've read all these different, like, cases where people do things to children and, like, hurt them, and I just don't know how people have it in them. Neither do I. I've actually also worked as a kindergarten uh, assistant, and it is rewarding uh, to see the children actually develop and become more than they were, like, the last year. Yeah, and, and I also think it really helps... Uh, helps them to see that a guy can actually work in a kindergarten that it, it's there's nothing wrong with a man working in a kindergarten because mm -hmm. i uh, i understand for example that some of uh, the other employer employees that you know work there regularly um they uh m most of them are women i'm the only guy uh there at least on a regular basis that and i'm in my 20s and i can actually then keep up with the other kids i can run around i, I can actually play with them and run and do things um and uh that i think really helps them see that okay i can i can do uh that sort of activity Ooh, i can adopt a policy should i go with tradition in the beginning hmm. i'm uh, yeah it'll greatly increase the rate of border expansion I i'm in liberty uh yeah because then you can get republic and then collective rules so you can get a Hey guys, thank you for watching this video today. Uh, I didn't really have any planning on first making the video into several segments, but as I suddenly noticed that I have been playing for over 1 hour and 49 minutes, I figured that without having it to upload for 24 hours into uh, the next day, when I put it on 12 in the middle of the night on Saturday, I will have to now make this into like a part segment, so there will be a few parts um, playing here for quite some time every other Sunday. Other than that, it will be Supreme Commander cards every other Sunday. So, thank you guys for watching this, and other than that, uh, roll credits! <laughs>